and welcome back to the channel today I'm gonna do a solar panel test with the anchor 555 powerhouse using both the Harbor Freight 100 watt crystal monocrystalline panel and the Harbor Freight Thunderbolt kit with four panels and what we're gonna do is first connect the four panel Harbor Freight kit see how many watts we get then connect the 100 watt panel and then I'm going to add this splitter and connect both of them to the anchor and see what we get. So right now the Thunderbolt kit is hooked up. I'm currently getting 47 watts. It's a nice sunny day, October 6th, 2022. So 47 watts right now out of the Harbor Freight Thunderbolt kit. And not as much as I had hoped. And in a moment I will connect the 100 watt panel. And now with the 100 watt panel connected I'm getting 92 watts. It's much better. Not quite 100. The first time I tried this a couple of weeks ago it was giving me 103 watts. Yeah, 92, holding steady about 92. And now I'm going to connect both panels together. Now with both panels connected, I'm getting 131 watts. And there's probably some loss in the length of cable. And I will link to that cable in the description of the video. There's actually a better cable that I could have gotten. I could have gotten just the one, the combiner that goes into the DC7909. Yeah, so I'll get a little bit of loss on that, but that's, well, I guess that's pretty good. Yeah, not, I'm not getting as much out of the Harbor Freight Thunderbolt kit as I'd hoped. But 131 watts, that's not bad. I may get another one of these Harbor Freight 100 watt panels in the future and then combine those two. Yeah, Harbor Freight just did a special. They had a 10% off on, the, on anything in the store, anything above $50, and those solar panels sold out fast. So I'm gonna let this go for a while and see how, how long it takes to charge. It's saying 1.9 hours, so I'm gonna stick around a while. Well, it's been about 45 minutes. And I'm getting 129, 130 watts. With 1.3 hours left to recharge. Yeah, just wish I was getting better results out of the Harbor Freight kit. But it is a couple of years old. I bought it back in December of 2020. Used it for most of the winter. And then the 100 watt panel is brand new. So I'm going to call it a, a good test anyway. Gives me an idea of what to expect out of the panels should I need to use them in some sort of an emergency or just a power outage. So the solar panel test consisted of using the Harbor Freight 100 watt solar panel kit. That's the four panels with 25 watts each and the Harbor Freight 100 watt single panel now the, the solar panel kit was only giving me less than 50 watts. It's about 45 or 46 watts, but that which was kind of disappointing, considering it's it's a 100 watt kit. It is a couple of years old, and for about the first five months that I had it, I was using it to power the homebrew battery box there on the right. But the single panel 100 watt panel was giving me 93 watts, which was impressive. Uh, two weeks earlier, it was actually giving me 103 watts on a nice sunny day. Combined, they gave uh, about 132 watts, 132 to about 135 watts combined with this combiner cable, which I will link to in the description. You can get this off of eBay, Amazon, and you can get more than just a double. You can get triple and quadruple joiners, but since the anchor only accepts up to 200 watts of solar input, 
two is enough. And the anchor still is performing well. I've always had good luck with the anchor products. So that concludes that solar panel test. Thanks for watching.